Over the past 18 months, we here at Code County School District have struggled to enforce our dress code. The dress code itself is relatively simple, and part of the reason it is being disregarded so frequently is simply because there are a lot of gray areas surrounding the dress code. We're here today to address those common misconceptions in regards to our dress code. Those of you who have actually read the Code of Conduct are already familiar with the dress code itself and perhaps are just choosing not to follow it. Whatever the reason, we will shortly address the essential do's and don'ts of the Code County dress code so that everyone is on the same page. The code itself isn't extremely formal or complicated in any way. For example, collared shirts and khaki pants are deemed acceptable for males, and for females, reasonable skirts, dresses, and blouses are all suitable under the dress code. Now, you might be thinking, this is a very open-ended dress code. What isn't allowed? As for pants, blue jeans and sweatpants are considered too informal. Likewise, footwear items such as flip-flops are not permitted. Lastly, miscellaneous clothing like tracksuits are also disallowed. But aside from blatantly offensive clothing, why even have a dress code? This is actually a frequent question asked by many people. We at the Code County School District have found that imposing a dress code helps present a professional image to parents and other visitors, as well as foster a positive learning environment for students. Like most codes, the Code County Dress Code does have exceptions for certain days of the year and certain members of the faculty. For instance, food service staff and custodial staff are exempt from the dress code as their work requires less formal clothing. Exceptions to the dress code will also be made on school spirit days where students and staff are encouraged to wear apparel that supports their school. Although we will be enforcing the dress code more strictly after today, we are glad to announce that our dedicated casual Fridays won't be going anywhere, as they have been a long-kept school tradition. Like the name suggests, certain areas of the dress code can be disregarded on casual Fridays. However, clothing with offensive or inappropriate illustrations is still prohibited. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the dress code, you are encouraged to contact your district administrator. Thank you for watching.